you can see from the crime scene tape, it's very windy, and that's going to matter in just a minute in the video. Uh, just that it's very windy that day. So in the video, in just a moment, you're going to see why that matters, because um, this is something that we would not normally do on a scene that's about to happen. With that would probably be yeah. So where I can kind of explain <laughs> what we're coming to as we come to it. So again, it, it's really windy. And this is just like approaching the garage. And this evidence marker is on its side to mark this piece of evidence. And it's so windy, it blows it over. And so I'm using my gloved hand to grab it and put it within, like inside the garage to keep it from blowing away again. So this is approaching through the garage. Into a sort of eating kitchen area. So table in the in the eat-in kitchen. <coughs> Random items in the kitchen floor. And then this is the kitchen proper. So it's important to note here that the uh, stovetop is on in this large stock pot. At this point, do you have any knowledge of anything being inside the stock pot? No. So this is continuing kind of to the other side of the kitchen counter. And then on into the formal dining room area of the residence. So this is, I'm stepping into the foyer of the residence. This is the front door and it faces the street. And here I'm noting that the heating unit for the house, for the downstairs of the house is set to 90 degrees and it was very, very warm in there. And that's the front door and some miscellaneous groceries that are sitting in the floor. There were. So this is just a half bath that's in the downstairs.
So this is the living room downstairs in the residence. And you can see on this side it's open to the eat-in kitchen. This is the back door, and you'll note it's missing a doorknob. I don't believe this one was on. So off the living room here is this kind of little office area. So that's what that next doorway is. Mm 